Welcome, guys, to the Toasties YouTube around. Thank you so much for popping by. It really does mean the world. This one is all about making yourself more useful to your team members in Rainbow Six Siege. This is the top five tips for new players on Rainbow Six Siege in 2021. Let's go! So, guys, the first tip that I'm going to give you guys as a new player is going to be not reinforcing between sites. So this wall, for example, here, you would not reinforce because if you were to reinforce it, you wouldn't be able to rotate into A so easily, right? So what you do is, I'm going to throw this C4 here. Create this little hole, and that goes straight into this site. What that does is, is it opens up the play a little bit, because now I've got an angle to this door. I've got an angle into the other site when I'm in A. And you've also got many different ways in to get into A site, instead of um, being stuck uh, with a bottleneck, for example, from this doorway. Or from this doorway here from A, you know, you've got a big hole in between A so that, you know, the sites are both open, which will be extremely helpful. Do not reinforce in between sites because if you do, you will have people hating on you, no joke. Uh, a lot of people get very, very salty if you reinforce in between sites. It is very, very helpful to, to have that rotation hole, like I say. You'll find people using C4 or maybe impact grenades or even a shotgun to create them. So as you can see from that little video there, guys, that I actually did use the rotation hole as well to try and get an angle on that nomad that was trying to attack me from the stairs. So definitely try not to reinforce between sites. You will find people being very, very toxic if you do. I did do it myself when I first started playing the game and had a rook actually TK me. <laughs> and then I since then later found out it was because I was reinforcing the wall in between sites and he was getting very angry about it. I had no clue. What the hell he was going on about so it's definitely a tip that i wanted to give you guys hopefully you found it helpful let's move on to the next one so this tip is all about the preparation phase as an attacker the preparation phase is very very helpful as an attacker not only is it designed for you to find out where the bomb site is which obviously is very very helpful when you first start attacking but not only that you can use this as a phase for you to get a camera in a decent place. So we've located the bomb chat, right? Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get my drone in a decent place as a camera. Damn it, I'm dead. So this drone here would be a perfect camera, right? We can see the bottom of these stairs. We can see this guy just sitting here. So this would be a perfect place for us to leave our drone. Not only is it very, very good for that, but as an attacker, you do have a second drone as well by pressing the number six. This then will allow you to then put another camera into the building or use it to scope out where you're going to be pushing. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the stairs, Jim, first. <laughs> where the hell are the stairs? There they are. Great map knowledge, Jim. But yes, what we're going to do now is we're going to use this to scout back down here where the uh, where the site is. So we've got my man there. Obviously, I couldn't get the camera in into a good place, but still, I still know that most of them are still on site, right? So again, just a little recap on that little tip there. So as we said, use your drones not only to find the bomb in preparation phase, but also maybe to get it in a nice little place for people to use as a camera once they're dead. Also, make you see a second drone when you're actually going to enter the building to see if there's anybody, you know, hiding in a corner, for example, or waiting for you to jump into a frost map. So make sure you use your second drone for intel, not only to help yourself out, but your team members as well. Let's get on to the next tip, baby. Right, guys. Next tip is all about when you're attacking as an attacker make sure that you're shooting out the cameras as you attack into the building so as you can see here there's a default camera outside pretty much every single spawn point will have a camera that will need shooting if you don't shoot it it will give the enemy an advantage because they can jump straight onto the cameras and look to see whereabouts you're entering the building 
So make sure that you can, you take note of where the cameras are. And just make sure that you're remembering to shoot them when you do start the round. Because they will be very, very useful for intel for the enemy team. So always shoot the cameras. Try and learn where the cameras are on each map. I don't really know that this map that well. So I can't really show you where all the cameras are, for example. But we'll definitely show you, you know, the whole idea of it, really. As we know, there is a camera right here. Shoot that out. Get 10 pointers. Then, if you look over here, there's another camera there. As you can see, there's a camera in the corner there, so we're going to shoot that. They are normally on main doorways or hallways. So, just keep an eye out for them. Try and learn where they are. And make sure that you are shooting them out. I'll let Callie finish her off. Come on, Callie. Nice. Hmm. Oh, and we won the round that easy. But as always, guys, like I say, make sure that you are shooting at the cameras when you see them. Because they are extremely, extremely helpful for the enemy team. Especially if most of your team die. So just keep that in mind. And keep an eye out for them. So the final tip that I'm going to give you guys is all about attachments on your weapons. We're going to go with Zofia. Zofia is one of my favourite attackers. I would definitely recommend getting her. So the, the most important attachments are the grip and the compensator. Or the barrel attachment. The compensator is the one I'm using. But... I honestly wouldn't recommend using the laser. No one uses the laser. It gives away your position. And honestly, just keep it off your weapons. Seriously. Uh, the scope, again, is personal preference. Most like using the re reflex or the holographic. But if you have got an assault rifle like Zalfir has, the 2 times or the 2.5 times or the 1.5 times are very, very good scopes. Try them out. Mess around with scopes. Everyone's got the preference for, for a scope, honestly. I can't really give you the best one because... Everyone has a preference. But honestly, with the barrels, for me, I personally stay away from the suppressor. It drops down your damage of your weapon and not only increases the recoil quite a bit, um, but obviously it does re reduce that sound. The flash hider is a very good one for upwards shooting, for upwards recoil, sorry. So you will find that it will rise upwards slower than other attachments would. The compensator is more for horizontal recoil. Uh, the muzzle brake is very, very good for single shot firing. Honestly, I will make a little video showing you the different attachments right now. And you can see the difference in them. So we're going to start off and just by entering some terrorist hunts. And we're going to start shooting the wall so you can see the recoil patterns of the different attachments. Uh, we're going to go with Zophir every single time just so you can see the difference with this weapon. So the first one we're going to be using is the muzzle brake. Like I said, is my favourite by far. And the grip, we're using the, four, the vertical foregrip. The difference between the vertical grip and the angle grip is the angle grip has a very, very quicker aim down sight time than the vertical grip does. Because we didn't actually talk about that earlier, but that is the difference between those. So, muzzle brake, perfect for single shot fire. Literally does not move with single shot fire. If you burst it a little bit, it kicks up a little bit. Genuinely, in my opinion, this is the best uh, muzzle brake to use. Muzzle brake. Barrel attachment to use for Zalfir's assault rifle. If I hold it down, if I hold it down, no recoil compensation whatsoever. I'm not going to move my mouse. As you can see, the weapon likes to kick upwards quite quickly also go left and right slightly as well so that could cause you to uh, miss shots if you can control the recoil a little bit by just pulling down on the mouse as you can see the spray is quite you know it's quite tight really if you can get used to controlling the recoil on to the next one so again guys we're going to be using Zophia we're going to be using the compensator this time which is for horizontal recoil. Go with this. So, again, single shot firing. As you can see, it's got a little bit more kick. 
than with the muzzle brake on. Then if we spray upwards, let's just reload first. If we spray upwards without compensating for the recoil. As you can see, the line is a lot straighter than the muzzle brake was. But if we control the recoil. Again, it's a very tight circle. It's probably a little bit tighter than the, uh, the muzzle brake was as well. Because obviously there's a little bit less horizontal recoil than there was previously. This time, guys, we're going to be using the flash hider. The flash hider is very similar to the compensator. But this is designed for the vertical recoil. So you won't have to compensate as much for the vert vertical recoil because it will be a little bit more slower. But it still does have that little bit of horizontal recoil as standard. So again, with a single shot firing, we'll start. As you can see, it's got a little bit of a less kick because it controls the vertical recoil more than the horizontal. If we hold it down without um, compensating. It, it basically travels up this line slower, but also still has the kick to the side slightly. So if we control the recoil now. As you can see, it's a lot easier to control the recoil with this, comp with this uh, muzzle brake on compared to the compensator. But I still prefer the muzzle brake just because I do find myself more... You know, tapping the self here, which is a lot easier to do with the uh, the muzzle brake on. On to the next one, which is the final one, which is the silencer. So, guys, with the silencer, um, I'm not a massive fan of the silencer myself. The main reason is because it drops the damage of the weapon, as I've previously said already. But it also kind of acts like there is an attachment. There isn't an attachment on the weapon, in my opinion. As you can see, it kicked up very, very fast there. It's got a very, very fast upwards recoil, as well as the horizontal still there as well. And the recoil pattern is a lot harder to uh, to distinguish where it's going to go. It is always random, pretty much. We've got nine bullets. So, controlling the recoil is, uh, you know, it's not too bad with the silencer. It's not too bad with the silencer at all, really, but just bear in mind that it does drop the damage. Some people use them. I personally just stay away from them. I'm not a massive fan on any weapon. Be a good team member. Don't be toxic. Say GG after games. Be a nice person because that's what it's all about, right? Siege needs that fun aspect. It needs nice people back in the community because it can be quite toxic, let's be honest. It's got a reputation for that. So, But as always, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, please consider dropping that thumbs up hitting that subscribe button and maybe triggering those bells because as you know we are pushing for 1000 subscribers on the youtube channel we're going to be trying to get a video out every single week and a short every single day working damn hard so please please consider hitting that little button it's completely and utterly free at the end of the day if you have got this far please let me know what you think of siege if you are a new player or if you are a player of old let me know who your favorite operator is on attack and defense and have a fantastic day. Stay awesome. Stay safe. But most importantly, stay damn toasty.